So today we're going to be fitting the Fuji Racing subframe locking kit. It's for the rear of the car, for the rear subframe. And all this is going to do is stop that subframe from moving around when we're on events. Obviously the bushes are going to do that as well, but this will just lock it in place. Just to be sure we've got no movement and the rear wheels are going to stay straight when we're on the track. All this consists of is a bolt with a spacer and it has a washer in between just to, just to hold it onto the car. So we're going to be fitting up to the car today. I'm going to uh, show you how we get it done. Basically you have to clean out the threads, make sure they're clean so this can thread up without causing any damage or snapping the bolt. Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is jack the car up from the differential. Best part of the car is directly centre in that rear axle. So we're going to start jacking it up. Just check first it is in the right location. Directly on the diff. So once we've got the car at a good height, your best decision is going to be to place axle stands under it. If you don't have axle stands or a jack, try and find somewhere where you can use some ramps. Somewhere getting the car up safely, that it's not going to crush you when you get under it. So now we've got the car up, we might as well get set up to get everything ready to get put on. So, first of all you're going to want to clean the threads up. There is threads there on the subroof, and it's basically a direct fitment. What you don't want to do is just wind that bolt straight up because if some threads are corroded or anything like that you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> so we're going to start off with an M12 by 1.25 tap when the camera focuses and what we're going to use is just some uh, cutting and tapping fluid get it from anywhere and you're just going to spray the end of that tap don't worry about this you can clean the unit afterwards it's better not to knacker the threads in your car. So now we can, we're under the car. You can see it's a bit crusty. We do need to uh, repaint a few things. But up here, you'll see there is our threaded hole in between the subframe bushes. So as you can see, all I'm doing is I'm just running that thread up. It is straight, it's a camera angle, don't worry. And uh, I'm just cleaning the threads off with this tap. So I'm going to do it on both sides and uh, we'll come back once I've done that. So now we've done that and we've uh, cleaned the threads out on both sides. I'm now going to run some copper cop slip on a brush, excuse my English, uh, down the bolt and on the spacer, which just holds it in place. A bit of blob on one side will probably do you. And we'll do the same with the spacer. So now we're going to put the washer on first. Very important, don't want it slipping around. I mean, we're trying to stop the subframe from slipping. Then you're going to have your spacer all copper slipped up. It's not going to seize. You're going to be able to get it out in the future if you need to remove that subframe. So, hardest part's done. I say the hardest part, you're probably cleaning the, cleaning the threads. We're going to run this bolt up straight into that subframe. So once you've got them threads all clean, you'll be able to begin starting to thread up your spacer and your bolt. And it should be quite smooth as long as it's clean. Obviously that space is going to begin to start working and moving that subframe. So you're going to have to start using a bit of torque on it just to push it in. So we'll come back once this space is in. So one thing I've noticed whilst fitting these, they're in like a cone shape. Yeah? So this bit is where it just starts to touch the thread. Yeah? You've only got a gap about that much. This bit here, just a little bit here, when it starts getting this cone, as soon as it's on this bit, that's your diff locked. Well, your subframe locked. So here we are under the car. Obviously, a lot of people are going to be thinking, that doesn't actually look tight. There is a bit of a gap. But, as we looked at that spacer before, it is combed, and this feeds up into the subframe. Whoa, 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 stop. He's wrong. Listen to me. 
them bolts and spaces need to go right up. They need to hold us up in place. They do go right up. I didn't think they did, but they do. To do that, you might need to loosen your subframe. Some of, some of your cars, newer ones, or ones that haven't really been touched, that subframe's going to be straight. Mine, in this case, is slightly out. So I'm going to go back there, loosen the subframe slightly, and feed them bolts right up. Make sure that spacer is touching the lip. They should be at 66 foot-pounds of torque. Make sure you do that. You do not want bolts or spacers or washers flying over a track when you're racing. It's going to be a danger for you and it's going to be a danger for everyone else. Think about it. Don't listen to what you just said. So as you saw there, we just fitted the Fuji Racing subframe locking kit. Obviously, there's a bit of learning involved when you're putting stuff on like that. You've got to realise how far the thread is, stuff like that. It's a spacer at the end of the day. It's not going to go all the way in. I thought it would. It doesn't. I will have a relook on Google afterwards. But that is how it's fitted. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But obviously, I'll do a video just so you know how the rally car is going and coming along. And also, you get to learn a bit if you don't know and if much about cars. There will be more in-depth stuff in the future, fitting the roll cage, plastic windows, mostly motorsport stuff. If you're interested in building a rally car, why don't you subscribe to the channel? If you thought I did something wrong in this video, give it a dislike. If you liked the video and you've learned something, give it a like. Also, if you want to give me any feedback, anything you saw that might be wrong, might be slightly off, leave a comment down below. Thanks a lot guys for watching. See you in the next one.